I'm going to show using GX Web that the distance of a side of a triangle from the circumcenter is equal to half the distance of the opposite vertex from the orthocenter. Uh, so let's start with my triangle, uh, ABC. And I'm going to need the circumcenter, so I need, I'm going to get that using the circumcircle which I can get by selecting the three points and my circle construction. Um, I need, and I also need the orthocenter, which I can get by dropping uh, perpendiculars, first from A onto BC, then from B onto AC, and then intersecting those two. Now we can make our altitudes, um, either hide them or just make them faint so they don't get in the way. Um, okay, so what we want to show, stating it carefully, we want to show that the, dis the, that the distance from D to BC, let's have a look at it. B to BC um, well that's a complicated thing uh, let me actually haven't I haven't actually constrained my drawing let me do that I usually do that first put uh, some lengths on there so let's get my distance. Without anything constrained, um, GX Web feels free to put in its own um, uh, parameters for the drawing, and they can sometimes be a little bit complicated. There's a um, there's the thing in terms of uh, A, B, and C, and uh, now we want the distance from the opposite vertex A to the orthocenter. Distance from A to G. Well, we could identify that those that that the second is the half of the first, but let's just uh, have GX Web do that identification for us. Distance from D to B C divided by distance of A to G. And you see, that's a half, which is what um, we were looking for.